Selling or using fireworks illegally can result in an unlimited fine and six months imprisonment. So with Diwali coming up on the 4th of November this year, Bonfire Night on the 5th of November, Christmas and New Year, and following on from that, Chinese New Year coming up, it's best that you get these things right. And there are a great deal things to think about. There are restrictions on age for both buying and possessing, and restrictions on where you can possess these things. There are restrictions on what time they can be used, and there are restrictions in various different categories of firework. Getting any of these things wrong could land you with anything from a £90 on-the-spot fine to an unlimited fine and or six months imprisonment. So let's go through a few of the key things to make sure you get them right. The general starting point, contrary to popular belief, is that fireworks can be used at any time in the UK between the hours of 7am and 11pm at night. There are some exceptions where this time limit is extended to midnight, of course, because people want to celebrate until midnight for various times of the year. Those include bonfire night, so the restrictions are extended between 7am and midnight. And for New Year's Eve, Diwali and Chinese New Year, it is extended to be between the hours of 7am and 1 a.m. the following morning. Next we're going to look at some categories of fireworks because this will dictate what you are allowed to buy, possess and use. And these are set out in Schedule 1 of the Pyrotechnic Articles Safety Regulations of 2015. Speaking just about fireworks, although I'll link the legislation in the description, there are broadly speaking four different categories of fireworks, with Category 1 presenting the lowest hazard among all of them. Category 1 fireworks are often referred to as throwdown fireworks and include things such as firecrackers, bangers and party poppers. Categories 2 and 3 are referred to as adult fireworks and are available in specific shops, which I will come back to in a moment and Category 4 fireworks are designed as professional display fireworks and are only available from specialist suppliers and can only be purchased and used by professionals. So let's take a brief look at who can actually buy and use these fireworks. The legislation provides that anyone over the age of 18 can buy, carry and use Category 1, 2 and 3 fireworks. Those over the age of 16 but not quite 18 are only permitted to carry, use and buy Category 1 fireworks. Although when it comes to Christmas crackers, even though they do contain a very small explosive, there is an age limit for this as well, which is the age of 12. Therefore, anyone wanting to buy Christmas crackers must be over 12 years old. And as for Category 4 fireworks, as I said, it is only licensed professionals that can buy, carry, and use Category 4 fireworks. As to where they can be used, unless it is part of an organized event by licensed professionals, fireworks cannot under any circumstances be used on a street or other public place. And I'd strongly suggest that you take note of that point because this is one of the points that might well land you with a prison sentence if you are found doing so. It is also an offence to throw or set off any firework of any kind, including any of those in category 1, which includes sparklers, into or onto any kind of highway, street, thoroughfare or any kind of public space. Aside from the obvious risk of damage to property from using them incorrectly or in the wrong places, there is also a significant risk of harm to persons, which if you are committing an offence, which then causes someone else an injury, you may well be in for very much more serious offences than simply using a firework in a public place. As for where you can buy fireworks, there are two different categories known as registered sellers and licensed shops. So for most of the year, you can only buy any kind of firework from a licensed shop. But for certain times of the year, you can also buy from registered sellers. That's why you see other kind of sellers that pop up throughout these periods because the sale of these items is somewhat extended to supply demand. The extended dates are between the 15th of October and the 10th of November, between the 26th and the 31st of December, and three days before Diwali and Chinese New Year. It would also be prudent to check with your local council to see whether they have any local restrictions on setting off fireworks because depending on where you are, there might well be local restrictions and there may well be additional offences and, at the very least, breach of certain bylaws which might be punishable by way of penalty if you are breaching those regulations in your local area. If you are working at a registered seller or even a licensed shop, you should know that it is illegal and would be an offence to supply fireworks to any person under the age of 18. Speaking briefly about the categories of fireworks, you can see briefly here an extract from Schedule 1. Category 1 fireworks are those that present a low hazard and negligible noise which are intended for use 
in confined areas. Category two are those that present a low hazard but a low noise level and intended for outdoor use in a confined area. Think about these for those that should be intended for a normal sized garden. Category three fireworks are naturally an extension on category two, intended for a much larger open area. Category three fireworks are those that present a medium hazard intended for outdoor use in a large open area and whose noise level is not harmful to human health. Finally, category four fireworks, those that are only to be purchased, used and possessed by licensed professionals, are those that present a high hazard intended only by persons with specialist knowledge and whose noise level is not harmful to human health. And speaking of the noise level, there is a restriction. Shops are not allowed to sell fireworks that are louder than 120 decibels because that would bring it outside of these regulations in that it would be harmful to human health. And not that I think you need a safety lecture from me, but if you are using fireworks, don't use any kind of accelerants like petrol or things like that. They are likely to make any kind of prosecution very much worse if something goes wrong. Always have a bucket of water to handy and remember the non-emergency number is 101, the emergency numbers of 999. And if you just want to report some nuisance that's going on all night long, you're probably better speaking to the council about it, or if it is really severe, you can still contact the police. And if you want to ensure that the fireworks you are buying comply with the relevant safety regulations, this is known as the British Standard BS of 7114. So if what you are buying does not have this safety standard on it, then I would go back to the retailer and insist that it is changed. And if you're thinking about flying a drone to capture footage of fireworks this year, I suggest you watch this video here.